welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video. Happy 2020, a new decade. I love a new year. I'm so excited. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw that I was in Dublin for this new year. It was amazing. I recorded a vlog. I need to edit that vlog. Um, but either way, I'm gonna crack on with the new year videos. In today's video, I wanted to share with you my first food shop of the year. So I thought I would bring you along as I head to the shops. I was supposed to go ages ago. It is now, what, like 5 p.m.? Should have gone a while ago, but that's okay. We don't stress. We don't stress in 2020. We powered through. It's going really well. But I thought, instead of just taking you along, I decided that I would do a full-on video of how to do a healthy food shop. And that sounds really obvious, like, duh, you just go to the shop and buy healthy food. But trust me when I say, that is often easier said than done. Like when you're trying to stick to a healthy diet, it's really hard. Like I'm gonna teach you a load of tips and tricks to make sure that you fill your house, your kitchen, your surroundings, your immediate vicinity with healthy food items so that you can live your best life, so that you can look after your body, feed it well in the way that it deserves. Step one is to be full, well-fed and hydrated before you go for your food shop. Well-fed, I've heated, your gal is fed. I am a bit thirsty though, so I will grab a drink before I go. If you go on an empty stomach, you're just gonna be so much more tempted to buy any random stuff that you see. Like the amount of times I've <laughs> stopped by, <laughs> stopped by the shops on the way back from work because I'm just so thirsty. And then I end up just buying all kinds of random drinks, fizzy drinks and crap that I don't need because I didn't just stay hydrated during the day. So make sure that you're hydrated and fed before you do your food shop, that's number one. Number two, is to check what you already have in the house. So go to your kitchen, go to your cupboards and look at what you have, because the chances are, oh, I'm the worst for this. Anyone else do this? I haven't even said what it is, but let me know if you can relate. I will always say, oh my gosh, there's nothing to eat. When I've got cupboards heaving with food, but it's just stuff that I don't really know what to do with it. I don't know what meal to make out of a can of chickpeas, tomatoes, and some pasta. I, I do, as I say that out loud, that actually sounds like a meal. <laughs> But you know what I mean, often we can say that we have no food when there's actually a lot of food there. So check what you already have so you don't just go and double up and waste your money and waste your space because that's not what we're here for in 2020. Ugh. So once you've seen what you have, get a meal in mind. And I don't just mean an immediate meal, I mean what are you eating this week? I tend to do my food shops in like weekly-ish batches. What do you want to eat this week? What do you want your palate to experience? What cuisines, what tastes, what meal are you making? Individual items of food are generally not eaten as individual items of food, so you can buy some pasta. But what are you gonna eat that pasta with? Get the ingredients for the recipes that you want to make, the snacks that you want to have this week, and write a list. So meal in mind is number three. Number four is to set a budget, especially. Oi. If you're trying to healthy eat, chances are there's a lot of fancy food products out there, great marketing that will say, hey, I'm healthy, hi, buy me, and they'll just be expensive. So don't be robbed this January. Set a budget for your food shop. I do not want you to end up at the end of the month with nothing, you know, the only pounds you've lost is sterling, sterling pounds, no. We're trying to save our money, we're trying to be good to ourselves, okay? So, you know, we wanna hold on to those pounds, sterling. Step number five is to grab some reusable bags. This isn't really to do with a healthy food shop in particular, it's more like a healthy planet shop. So I guess it's a healthy food shop, because without a healthy planet, how are we going to breathe? Where are we going to get our oxygen? So, don't forget your reusable bags. Please, Sarah, remember them for once. <laughs> Another thing that you wanna do is while you're going around the shop, check the dates on the food. Don't just grab the nearest bag of spinach. Check the date on it, because chances are there's a good three to four days variation of stock in a supermarket at any given time. Don't ask how I know that, I just, I just check the dates. So always check, because you might pick one up that says, oh, this expires 6th of January. Then you look a few roads back, and underneath in the second crate, there's one that expires 10th of January, which just gives you more, more scope, more room, more time to play with the food. I don't want any of us here to be in a situation where it's like, oh, I was gonna eat healthily, but it went off too soon. No, avoid that, avoid that and check the date. My seventh and final tip is to 
read the label read sorry i almost forgot the tip <laughs> read the label marketing is great these days they literally will write protein on something or health on something and it will just be like oh i need that it's healthy but then when you actually read what is inside of it and what the macronutrients are saying it's actually not that much it's like when you buy orange juice one of your five a day and you're like oh amazing i'll get that and then you read it and it's like one liter of this counts as one of your five a day it's like who's drinking a liter of orange juice okay i've sometimes drunk a liter of orange juice but you don't want to have to drink a liter of orange juice and have all that sugar in order to get one of your five a day so just read the labels be woke don't be tricked just because it says protein bar like actually read the bar and sometimes you read the bar and it's not a protein bar there's just a few peanuts in it i know what you're doing marketing labels and you are doing it very well but not in 2020 in 2020 you're not just taking my money because you've got a hit slogan here and there i'm reading those labels and seeing what are the actual nutrients that have gone into this item i'm not just here to get robbed and feel oh you know bougie and pretentious like i just did a healthy food shop no i actually want healthy food i actually want to be good to my body so my seventh and final tip is to read the labels right without further ado let's go on this food shop honestly i feel like i've probably already told you everything that you need to know but um please keep watching because <laughs> i'm just gonna take the camera with me we're gonna go buy some food <sighs> oh that sounded like a fart that wasn't a fart that was my that was my hands, but for some reason I can't actually remake the noise, that's okay. All right, let's go get some food. Just uh, taking out the recycling on the way. Got my list, I'm ready to go. I adore carrots. Getting a bag of these. 7th of January on this turkey mince, but if you look a little bit further back, you've got a 9th of January. Win. Again, on the Greek yogurts, one of them will say the 8th of the first it goes off, the other one doesn't go off till the 15th, so I'm getting that one. Food shop is done. I've got some carrots, some fruit, and um, I dropped the strawberries on the way out of the car, which is pretty devastating. Some apples and some Greek yogurt, fat-free Greek yogurt, some light original soft cheese, uh, two lean protein sauces, um, although I did get the chicken thighs with the skin on, which I don't usually do, um, but you can always remove them, I guess. Then I've got some snacks, so for snacks I've got pistachios, brazil nuts which I adore, apricots, um, I've got some rice cakes, I've been loving those recently. I definitely go through love-hate relationships with these bad boys, but right now it's all love. Um, I've got some juice, some cranberry juice, oh no I didn't get the mixed one. Oh I was supposed to get mixed cranberry and raspberry but whatever. Um, that is for my smoothies and then I've got some seeded um, whole grain bread uh, and some lactose free milk. So as you can see there's not a lot of like leafy green vegetables in here but that's because I already have lots of leafy green vegetables in the fridge so this food shop was based on what I needed at the moment in order to meal prep this week and to be eating healthily this week and so that is just a quick example. And that is basically it you guys thank you so much for watching i really hope that you found this helpful if not at least interesting and um, so i will do a meal prep tomorrow yeah let me know if you want me to film that and i can post that for you in a video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up let me know what other kind of healthy lifestyle videos you want to see on this channel i hope you are having an amazing start to 2020 love you guys so much i will see you soon